Welcome to Breeze Tutorials. Maybe you have just finished your knife project and it's time for making a sheet. There are all sorts of sheets. There are western type sheets, nordic sheets, linen bed sheets, you name it. Today we'll show you how to make a simple western type sheet. You can find on our web shop all sorts of materials you need for sheet making. But now I'll introduce you to Søren, who will show you how to produce your first sheet. Hey, good to see you. Hi, sir. Today we're going to show you just a simple type of sheet. Something like this we will do. This is a typical book sheet as well. And this is a western sheet with a fire stick holder. But this, this will be our goal for today. Something like this. To make sheet, you will need the following materials piece of leather, then it's good to plan for a big enough piece, depending on the size of the knife. You will also need a piece of thread, wax thread, that should has to be strong so you can tighten the stitching. Then you need two pieces of needles and make sure it's leather needles. The difference between normal sewing needles and leather are that the leather needles are numb, so you will not damage the leather when doing the stitching. You will also need an awl to punch through the, through the leather for the stitching, important. Then an optional item tool that you might need is a groover. The groover will help you doing the groove for the stitching. When the groove is done, you might need a stitch marker. Stitch marker will help you a lot create the distances between the stitching. There are several sizes of the stitch marker and today we will use the 5mm and it works like this. This is optional but it's a good advice to have one. Then you will need a knife to cut the leather with or scissors. We might use both. Let's see. You all will also need a glue. This is Clipfest contact glue. And to save, save some leather, it's also good to have a piece of rough paper to make the template for the sheet. We will use a colored leather today, a brown leather. But if you for some reason have a natural tanned leather, you might want to color it. And for that, you can find different colors in our sortiment. All right, to start, grab your knife and a piece of paper. Now we will use this paper together with this knife to make a rough sample of how we want the sheet to look like. To start out, grab your knife and a piece of paper. It is always good to have a straight line for reference. Make a rough template of how you want your sheet to look by wrapping the paper of fabric around the knife. Estimate how much leather you will need for seam allowance. Make it at least one centimeter. This is both for the seam and a piece of leather that will be added to protect the seam. Remember to also account for the hang loop. This can be extra long, as you can always make it shorter later in the process. You can choose if you want the sheet to be right-handed or left-handed. It's up to you. Cut your template. Put your template on the leather and draw around it. Cut it out. Also cut out a strand as a protector for the seam. Dry fit all the parts with the knife to make sure it fits. Alright, when you are happy with the, with the sheet and the two protective strander it's time to bond these together. Remember to use protective gloves. Now you will glue the seam protector strand to the sheet. We use the Klebfest contact glue. 
Make sure you are in a well ventilated space and use protective gloves. Roughen the surfaces of the strand. Apply a thin layer of glue to both surfaces. Leave them to dry according to the instructions. You can feel it. If it feels dry, then it's okay, and you can add them together. Now it's time to attach the hang loop. Try it out on the knife to see where you want the hang loop to be. Mark the spot on a place that doesn't show. We will add a little glue to make sure it stays in place. When the glue has dried, put the pieces together. Mark out the stitching details using a ball pen or a stitch marker. You might want to use a ruler. Punch out the holes for the stitching using an awl. Remember to have a soft material underneath like a piece of cord. Now it's time for the stitching. If you want tips for stitching details, you can use YouTube or Pinterest as sources for inspiration. Alright, it's time to glue the sheet together. Dry fit once again. Then apply glue and leave it to dry. Then compress it together. Before you start sewing, trim and polish the edge to your liking. Now you can stitch it all together. Use first the groover, then the stitch marker. Punch out the holes using a doll. Allow enough thread, approximately 1 meter. Start at the tip and move upwards. Make sure the seam is tight. Secure the seam by going back along the stitches a couple of times. Voila! You have now made your own sheet. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.